these 10 degree brackets from Barnes are definitely gonna work. So I went ahead and welded these guys up and uh, tacked this hoop in. That way I can get some measurements and an idea of where that's gonna go, and where all that's gonna lay. Right now, the whole thing, the whole Jeep needs to come up about four inches um, to be at right height. So we're not too far off. I think it's like four or five inches to come up. So yeah, we're not too far off from that. Uh, I got some sketchiness going on here in the front because I needed to grind all the rest of these brackets off up in here in the lower and get my bracket set up. I've still yet to come over here and cut this part off because I've just been dreading it. I don't know why. I'll probably do that later on tonight when it gets cooler and it doesn't make enough, a lot of dust uh, doing that. Because, you know, grinding the paint off this stuff and welding creates a lot of dust and smoke. So I always keep the garage door open. It's nice out today. But only thing I need now is go to a Home Depot and get some tube, get some PVC pipe, and put everything up. That lower bracket, I still have to angle it, but it's about where it's going to go. And that's going to give me about a 36, a 38 inch upper and lower link. link. And I'm just going to copy that back here in the back, too. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy, move my brackets further this way. Um, the rear of the axle is gonna be centered right about here. Coilovers are probably gonna angle up into here, so I still got a lot of cutting and stuff to do. Today's not the day for that. I'm super not motivated to cut on this thing right now. I'm not real sure why. Still tons of cutting, not a lot of exciting stuff right now. Just a lot of cutting, a lot of grinding, a lot of thinking, a lot of welding. Uh, but I think I've got a really good idea for the front. Uh, I think we're solid on that. And then for the rear, yeah, just a little labor there. Also, so yeah, later on, I'm going to go take a break for a little bit. And I'm going to go ride my pitter in the backyard because I just need, I need a little bit of time. I haven't ridden a pitter in a while. I'm going to go pop some wheelies. And come back when it's dark and start I'm gonna go here to the other side of the rear end and go ahead and weld up those three plates cut that side off over there I noticed there's some rust in that side I'm gonna have to fix as well so that would even me up on that side my goal tonight is to get those three pieces welded on to mirror that other side and go to Home Depot and possibly get some pipe if not I'll go in the morning also I've been walking around looking at this fuel tank and not really sure where I want to have this thing mount yet but I like the looks of it right there I really do um, this is a sweet tank man this is uh, I just can't I mean, look at that thing this thing is so nice that's super excited to have that thing and it doesn't take up a lot of room in the back like I thought it would I thought it would be way bigger it's not I still have plenty of room for other stuff um, yeah, I think I may keep it back here and just lengthen my wires and my run some braided run some braided line with some AN fittings. And so I probably should look and see what size that's gonna take. And I also found me a radiator that is a lot smaller but a lot thicker. It's aluminum. I think it's a three or four core. It's huge. Um, but it doesn't hang down this far. It only hangs down to about here. So it's gonna be about six inches shorter than this radiator right here and that's going to give me room for my upper links to pass up in here and uh, miss everything that's going to be so I can keep my center of gravity a little bit lower but yeah that front end is going to be coming up right in right in that area somewhere I may bring it back just a little bit but I'm gonna wait till I get my radiator in there and cycle everything but I think that's about where I want it because that's going to put my front tires uh, it's going to put them 42s out there in front and that's where I'm going to want it Granted, whenever it comes up, it's gonna swing back this way a little bit, but that's all right. That's basically the setup I got, I'm gonna have on this thing. Uh, just lacking on me working on it. I did buy some tires today. I guess I gave that away earlier. Um, I bought me some 42 inch by 1450, 17, um, what are they? Maxis Trepador stickies, the competition stickies. I bought four of those. Um, from this dude named Ryan on Facebook. Uh, he got also got this thing called Beadlock Marketplace. If you're ever looking for beadlocks or tires or anything like that, man, um, 
message me and I'll get you with him. I don't know if he's got YouTube or anything. But yeah, message me, I'll get you with him, man. He's uh, he's shipping all over the across the United States. I got friends four states away that's ordered from him. And um, last time I ordered something from him, he had wheels to my in front of my garage in 23 hours. I had all my, my bead locks sitting in front of my garage in 23 hours on the dot. It was wild. So yeah, shout, huge shout out to him um, for getting me, finding me some. I guess they're kind of hard to find right now. So I'm gonna go around the pitter for a little bit and uh, come back in here and um, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and cut that other side off this this side over here and uh, get that plate welded on. Get this back end cut right here, like I had the other side. Have that get that notched out and um, get that going on the way. I really wanted to work on one side or the other, but I just keep running into a situation where I don't have enough um, materials. So I'm just using what materials I have trying to keep busy and trying to keep moving forward been putting off going to the uh, metal yard excuse me i don't know why but i kind of want to get everything as far as i can go and then get me a good measurement of all the metal that i'm going to need um i still plan on having wide open designs make my lower links and me just get the measurements but i think with everything being exactly the same we'll try to make everything exactly the same throw it in the four link calculator make sure all the numbers are right where i want them and then I'm gonna call up Wide Open Designs and just have them make me four lower links. And the four that I have right now, I'll just go ahead, because I've been to make, I'm gonna make four for the front to mock it up in the back. And then I'll just use those for the uppers. And I'll use my 70, 75 links for the lowers. All right, all right, I'm making moves, making moves. Well, I got this all cut out, ground down. Um, out a ton of rust. I still need to grind down and fill weld a bunch of stuff. Grind down, fill some holes, and then but the rest of it's not bad. Got my this thing's still radiating heat. Uh, but I got her all welded up, and I don't know how I'm gonna get this back one welded on because. I've already got this one basically in place. So I may be raising the body on this thing anyway. I just need to be able to get them holes on top and around it. I think four or five inches would probably help me out. I may or may not be able to get that, I don't know, but I'm gonna have to to get that top up there welded. So I can get most everything from the side. I'm just gonna have the two top holes that I'm not gonna be able to get to. And then I think once I uh, get it raised up, I can weld the back side of this thing on. It's super, super strong on there. I'm pretty stoked about that. It's gonna be way stronger once I get that back side welded in and uh, the channel in and crossways. It's, I believe uh, I believe we're gonna be in good shape. My, regard, I believe we're gonna be in good shape regardless of uh, the frame condition up through here. Um, they plated it pretty hard up through here and I looked up through there and you can see some rust holes up in there and it's been plated so <sighs> kind of upsets me and is what it is though um, I think this summer I'm going to start looking for a replacement frame for it and that will be the next step or next process in this thing and it would be a uh, tube the back half uh, just buy a uh, frame maybe that had a little bit of rust on the back or something something that's good in the center section here is that's really all I'm keeping and then I can tube the front and the back and uh, do the V8 that's what I plan on doing this winter but I really won't forward next winter depends if I have a ton of fun in this thing this summer and it stays together and it works good I may leave it alone for a little bit um, but always gonna want more power see that's about it I've got all my brackets I need front end I'm waiting on the rear end still and do some links. Uh, like I said, there's my tank. I got both my holes cut through the body on the back and tubes fit up in there nice and nice and clean. What else? That's it. I'm going to clean this works, workspace up. Seems like that's all I've been doing lately is just cleaning. Just clean, clean, work, clean, work, clean more, clean more, straighten up clean throw away it is what it is I've got most of my grinding done which I'm stoked about um, all I really have to do is 
get some of the paint off the frame where I'm going to load up my mounts. And I'm gonna be quitting on this thing kind of early, so that'll be the end of this video. Uh, I'm gonna help my one of the guys that works for me. We're gonna do um, IHC upper control arms on his F-150. So I'm not gonna make a video of that because I just wanna chill and hang out with him. Um, kind of sucks having a camera out and setting it up and working on all that. I just wanna, I'm just gonna chill and hang out with him and spend some time with him and not video that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this piece up back up in the frame here and get it back where I want it and get it tacked in and go from there. All right, got my mess cleaned up and got the plasma out before I did clean my mess up. And I got in here and I got all this stuff out in here. I did blow through my tub a little bit, that sucks. I'm gonna leave this little L bracket here and probably just clean this up, but I wanna leave a ridge on top right there for strength in that corner. Um, what else? Yeah, I got both sides done. I also took the plasma and melted the bolts and got my tailgate off because all those were stripped out. Um, what else? Got this side out. This side has a little different. Um, it doesn't have that one bracket, so I'm gonna grind, cut some of this out right here and then just grind this one down probably. And right now, um, thinking about colors um like i said next thing i want to do is come in here and get all these bolts off this is what the old quarter armor was held on with i want to get those out um get any dimple all this shaved down i'm probably going to just primer it uh, until i get my sides in and then once i get my sides in and get those on um, start taping everything off in the paint. I'd like to get from the seats back all cleaned and painted and ready to go um, before I weld the back frame in. Yeah, and then I can just um, tape up what I've painted and spray my frame and that's that. Yeah, and if, it go, if I overspray anything on the white, I'll just uh, come back and touch it up. But I'm pretty sure I can tape all this off pretty good and get some stuff up over this frame to uh, mask it off and then shoot it from the from the bottom. Whenever I lift the tub up, I'll be able to uh, just mask off my tub and everything and then I can finish welding that. And then lastly, I'll uh, coat the frame. Probably gonna do it in pour 15 or something like that. I'm probably not going to um, spray this back frame or any of the front frame. I'm probably just gonna pour 15 it um, that way it doesn't, uh, I don't get overspray over everything and I can get good coverage on it. I want it fully coated. So I think I'm going to buy the uh, drop down tailgate from Motobuilt. Next thing I'm going to do is just take these out. Um, probably take the seat ones out. Yeah, got a little nasty with the plasma right there. I'm going to have to fix that. No biggie. Um, and then I'm going to, right now, before I call it a day, I want to come through here and get all these out and set my tank in here a couple ways and see which way I want it. I don't know if I want it up against the back seat and leave this open for like um, a cooler or, you know, or whatnot, or if I just want to put it back here over the axle. I don't use a cooler with ice, I just use an ice coat. So I want to put a 12 volt outlet back here that'll run off the Jeep. That way it'll power my cooler. I don't guess you really call it a cooler. I guess it's a fridge. Um, I'm probably gonna be rocking out with the blue one down there in this Jeep. And then, yeah. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. Work on getting all these out. And then cut these off and situate my tank a couple of different ways and see how I wanna put that. And then when one of my boys gets here later, I'm gonna move this out back and get the gas out of it and put it in one of the bikes probably and I'm not, I'm not gonna use that pump. I'm gonna buy a brand new TJ, brand new pump for this and send a unit. I mean, it's a brand new tank. I don't wanna stick an old, uh, who knows what pumps in it, dirty filter and whatnot. I'm just gonna use clean fuel, clean pump. I'm gonna have a brand new line. It's gonna be all, all brand new. So 
Um, that's my plans for that. I'm not going to video me cutting none of this stuff off. Um, that's probably going to wrap it up for me today. <laughs>